Sorry for the fly deck. Uh, we are receiving some extra cargo. CTEs will not be disease, changes in mood, behavior, movement, and cognition, eventually leading to dementia. I'm really wondering where this stops. I'm really wondering on some level. I think yeah, every awesome. single football player does that. It could be personality disorders. It could be a lot of rage, aggression, impulsivity, domestic violence. This is the time where I ask you, can I have your doesn't necessarily mean that everyone agrees. It means that people agree sufficiently that this is how we're going to work with this concept. Scientists do get specific about words because if you use words in different senses or if I use words to mean something and you're using words, the same words, to mean something else, then it's hard to communicate. I think the, the public's perception of what CTE is, is somewhat different from what's being described in the journal articles. And I think that's a little bit of an issue for the public because it leads to people thinking that the, the science is, or the evidence is stronger. If you're scientific minded, you have to consider the fact strongly that you're just dead wrong. I'm in Amsterdam, I think, because when push comes to shove, I'm a voice of balance in an area where the narrative is being shoved down people's throats. I work for a collision sport, and if I say to people, well, there's uncertainty here, then at the moment I would be at risk of being characterized as denying the issue or um, trying to downplay it. If you go outside of the dogma, you're, you become a heretic and you're discredited publicly. It happens very fast. And in, in my particular case, the, the moment I gave an opinion to the National Hockey League, I became a whore for the, for the sports organization. Once you do all this, can, I, I know that people making stuff generally don't, but um, it, it'd be nice to, to be able to see how that comes across before it goes out into the public domain because again I'm, I'm going to be sure. torn to shreds on that sort of thing. Yeah. What's so crazy is that how many times you know I've engaged the types of scientists that are at these events where I have no official scientific background but yet I had over 40 people tell me how valuable my common sense questions were simply because Everybody wants to out-science people, and nobody wants to speak like a layman, although they find it very important when other people do. There, there are a lot of smart people out there, but they, they wouldn't make a peep in this area. You know, why, why do I? I? I don't know, I'm divorced, I'm not particularly happy, and I'm not particularly fearful of, you know, public condemnation. I don't like it, but, I probably care less about those things than your average academic who, you know, feels like they might have a little bit too much to lose, you know what I mean, if they, if they say anything. Socially, professionally, yeah. 
Everybody was trying to get me to sign on, you know, or to be a spokesperson of some kind. You'd be great on the board of our initiative. You'd be great on my podcast. You'd be a great ambassador for this product. It just seems like the realm of concussion, if you're not speaking about the pure form of concussion protocols that end up empowering players, you're in the business of selling something. And I think that's why I, I guess, carved through some of these situations like butter, is because I'm not subsidized in any way. I'm not sponsored.